after a 24-hour warning, Apple has banned the fast-growing Parler app. Parler had become the social networking site of choice for conservatives and also for Trump supporters. Downloads of the app skyrocketed after Twitter permanently suspended President Trump yesterday. And tonight, Amazon is announcing it's no longer going to be hosting the site either, putting its future in question. NBC Bay Area Sergio Quintana live in San Francisco tonight with the latest. Sergio. Yeah, tonight's decision by Apple basically means that the app is no longer going to be available on its app store and it can no longer be updated. But those people who already have the app on their iPhones can still access it. But the decision by Amazon tonight that it's no longer going to host it on its servers is an even bigger blow. As of this afternoon, if you search on the Apple App Store, Parler no longer shows up. But over the last day, the conservative social media network had become the most downloaded app since Twitter permanently suspended President Donald Trump, citing concerns he may stir up further violence over the next few weeks. Google also dropped the Parler app from its store Friday, echoing concerns by Apple. The two tech giants had been pushing the social media upstart to moderate its platform out of concerns that it had become a gathering site to plan and foment violence. But San Jose State Professor Ryan Scannell says the crackdown on Parler by bigger companies and the suspension of President Donald Trump from a number of social media platforms may not be a long-term solution. In fact, he says it's somewhat troubling that discussions by some groups could happen out of the public's view. The thing that we should be concerned about or at least aware of is that that means the discussions that happen will happen in some sense outside of people's uh, open view and therefore will mean that people may not really know what to expect. So far, President Donald Trump has either been suspended from or had very limited access to at least 10 social media or online hosting sites. They include familiar platforms like Twitter and Facebook and less known sites like Shopify and Twitch. Being barred from these sites not only limits the president's reach to his audience, but also affects e-commerce in his name. And the president's audience may soon be even more difficult for him to reach. In a post on Parler, CEO John Matzi said Amazon will be shutting off its servers effective midnight tomorrow. The CEO says that could take a few days to find another host and the site could be offline for at least a week. Now, Amazon leaders had been under pressure by many of its own employees who had been voicing concerns at the site, was starting to get a lot of content on there that was violent content. Reporting live in San Francisco, I'm Sergio Quintana, NBC Bay Area News.